Hello, Paul here from EMD. Just want to show you guys uh, what I'm doing today. This box that was towed in, customer that was said to me there was a uh, oil pressure warning light comes on the, on the cluster, and at the same time there was a uh, screeching noise or some kind of noise from the back of the car. Uh, so he switched it off and then towed the car here. So the first thing I done was actually uh, put the scan tool on it. I didn't. I had no faults in the actual DME, which is the engine control unit. There's nothing locked there about oil pressure. And the second thing I done was the actual. I drained the oil. Drained the oil to make sure there's oil in the car, sufficient oil. So that's about seven to eight liters. But just looking at that, because that's a ten liter bottle, maybe seven liters or six point five, something like that. I look inside the actual for metal shavings. There's no metal shavings inside there, but I'll, I'll, I'll let me show you the noise the car was making. That's why I took a video already. Let's go into there. Have a look. Sorry, I had to actually um, record the video and then I'm going to play it back on my computer. So I can actually show you the noise and then I'll go back. Because I'm using my phone, so hear that. That's the actual noise the car was making. Pretty loud, so I'm gonna pause and I'll take it up. I'll go forward a bit more so because the video takes a bit too long, uh, too long to actually watch. Okay, that was only on the computer, so sorry for the uh, moving the, the camera too quick. But anyway, so doing so, uh, what I've done, I've actually um, taken taken off the sump, the oil sump, just to make sure there's no, just to, just to look for any uh, metal shaving or any actually uh, damage of anything that falls out the engine. So I can quick look underneath, look inside there. Looks pretty normal down here looks normal you just gotta much much easier to actually inspect something when the when the actual uh, lower sump is taken off because otherwise you'll be guessing so I'm looking at that the noise from to me the noise was coming from between the gearbox and the engine somewhere around there was the loudest when I put the camera and when I was listening to it so the next thing I want to do I'm gonna put that cup back on reseal it back on and then I'm going to uh, put the oil back on Oh, no. Sorry, I'm gonna put some. Uh, I'm not gonna put any oil for now, but I'm gonna actually uh, talk to the customer. Looks like I'm gonna remove the gearbox out and have a look between the engine and the gearbox. What's happening there? Can be a, a cap, can be a bearing, can be a, can be anything. At the moment, it's a clutch. Can be a clutch release bearing. Can be anything at, at, at this point. I, I can't really say anything, but the gearbox must be removed out. To actually check this uh, uh, car properly, so I don't I don't want to say anything at the moment, but just a quick video to show uh, what's happening and what what I've done. But the best thing to do is remove the gearbox off the engine, and then inspect again. Okay, thanks for watching and please subscribe.